Okay, this is another guy that was stuck in here in the parking lot here with me. We're just gonna try and make it out. Yeah, but it's up to his, uh, exhaust. Well, this is pretty good. His exhaust are fumbling. Here, let me turn off WWJ so you can hear me. Uh, I don't think that stopping there was a good idea. I'm definitely thinking that going backwards is not a good idea. Um, yeah, what you're doing is not a good idea. <laughs> but it's fun to watch! But that's actually the deepest part of the parking lot. Okay, so this is the corner of 13 Mile and Crooks Road, and the reason it actually let up. If you look out there, that water is right at the door of those cars. Sorry that I have to have my wipers going. If I don't, there's no way you're going to see this. I keep in the parking lot because I wanted to avoid the water, and now it's so deep, I'm stuck here until it goes down. See, there's a couple cars that are stalled. The only people that are making it are SUVs. The heat over here, I mean, the water goes all the way to the edge of the parking lot. I don't know if there's any way I can make it through there. Even if I did, I'd be out in the intersection, or it's still pretty deep. Every once in a while, over by that light pole, you'll see the, uh, the drain gurgle, but I think it's just uh, overwhelmed. Uh, I don't know what these guys think they're going to do. If they're going to push that car out, I guess I could get out of them, but I think I want to stay dry and safe here in the car. Every once in a while, I want to... Oh, this guy's not even going to try. He's got an SUV. Every once in a while, you'll see a car come by here, and you'll actually see breakers uh, from the wave. I'm not talking about that wave. I'm talking about up here in the parking lot. So, I guess the point is, I won't be watering the lawn today. Okay, so here's something interesting. You see that light pole out there, you see that spec mark sticking up. Uh, there's a pole behind me, which I'm going to cut to. Sorry if this makes you sick. Um, that's also a cement piece that has a good, I don't know, three feet, two and a half feet easily. And then over there, that's how much of it's sticking out of the ground. Uh, or I'm sorry, sticking out of the water. So that tells you how deep the water is, at least in the parking lot. And like I said, I'm, I'm stuck here. There's only one entrance, and uh, that's too deep for this car, let me tell you. Okay, so here's, here's a car that's a sucker. Look at that SUV. It's all the way up to the over bumper. And there's a regular car that's on these SUVs. I'm wondering if he's going to make it. He might be able to make it through on the way. Oh, he's going to make it. He's going to make it. It's starting to rain some more. I mean, I'm sorry, it's starting to rain heavier than it was. So I guess uh, the water will be going down anytime soon. Might have to get out and take a pee in these bushes over here in a minute. I promise I will turn the camera off when that happens. Get back up. And that's over on a bumper. And that's a four-wheel drive, too. Okay, this white, uh, oh, this white van just, uh, I don't know if he's slowing down because he doesn't want to get splat. Or he's stuck out. Oh, nope, no, he's be making it. I guess you're calling it someone's wake, it's a little easier. As you can see that uh, it's a beach with breakers and everything. guy in a Hummer. I'll tell you what, if I had a Hummer and it got stuck, I would eat. Oh, oh, oh. Get the gold car cock out. His lights are out. He's not moving. A little bit of brake light action there. Ah, oh, he's dead. And then the white car is thinking, holy smokes, maybe I better not do this. Maybe that's a bad idea. Back up, just over the edge of the doors, and here's the silver car. Looks like gonna make it. Now, I don't know if this SUV even has quite to go. Now, there's cars in both lanes. Yeah, that's right. Swap out the guy next to you. That's, that's... Oh, 
Now there's that light pole, and look at this Ford coming through there. All the way up to the top of his bumper. Not even to the bottom of it. All the way to the top. Well, the rain seems to be slacking a little, but uh, the water's gushing. Good thing is this is like the fresh water, it's like gonna clean the underside of your car, like unlike salt water that would actually wreck it. Let's see if this silver station wagon's gonna make it. Come on, Mr. Audi, you can do it! You can do it! Oh no, if you can't! Well, I think he was smart falling in the wake of that uh cord there. Not even up to his bumpers. Must have like 19 inch wheels or something. Okay, in the red car, I don't know why he's slowing down. Let's see if he can make it. Come on, red car, come on, red car, don't block the road. Eventually, we have to go through there. Gonna make it. I don't know if you can see out there that light pole. I don't know if I can see the light pole. Um, little service uh, hatch on it for doing the wiring. The water's almost up to that. But uh, I get to go out and measure that just to give you some idea of how much water is actually here. And by the way, I'm up here because there's more down the road now. I'm starting to avoid that. So um, I guess I'm, I'm going to be in the parking lot even though I'm not going anywhere. Apparently this is the low side of the road. The car's going the other direction. Looks like they're set up a little bit higher in the water. Oh, and, and there's a little Pontiac. Let's see if he if he's gonna go for it. If he's gonna chicken out. Come on, Pontiac. Oh, he's chicken out. Good for him. Probably the uh, wiser move there. SUV, and you can see even the SUV, the water's up to its bumper. Uh, if I could get over there, I'd get out of the parking lot too, but um, yeah, the water's about two feet thick between here and there, so I'm getting right where I'm at. Uh, probably for another two or three hours, unfortunately.